Hello, dear athletes. Not a day, not a session with this beautiful squad. I've got Akash on my right, Sarita on my left. My name is Rahul. This is your cardio session with us. And before we get into our mats to talk about the warm up, I want to take your uh, attention to this particular point where, especially when you're traveling, right? Do you feel that your fitness you know, takes a backseat? You know, imagine a place where you don't have a place to work out. We're going to talk more on this and make sure that you do not lose out on, you know, that 30 minutes or that one hour of workout, of your daily workout, rather. But more on that as the session progress. Let's jump onto your mats. Let's start off with your warm-up. It's 30 seconds of spot run, which means you're going to stand on one spot and run over there. Get your body warmed up. Let's start in three, two, and one. Let's go. With you, you're going to start a little slow, all right? 30 seconds only. Make sure your arms are swinging well. And you're on your toes. Halfway there. Let's pick up some pace now. 10 more seconds. Keep going, keep going, everybody. Get in. Three, two, and one. All right, now that the warm-up is done, let's focus on mobilizing your body. The first mobility drill that we're going to do is for your deltoids, all right? Deltoid circles, which means you keep your yank your hand up and we just go round four to five times and the other way four to five times and we keep repeating that for 30 seconds. All right, let's go do this in three, two, and one. Bend down, right? Just keep going around. Then the other way. You can change every five seconds as well, okay? Let's go again. Clockwise, anti-clockwise. Just keep rotating. Make sure that your shoulders are pressed upward. And you have that good activation of the shoulder joints, the muscles around it. Okay, last five seconds. Three, two, and one. Next up, keep your feet wider than shoulder width. Push your hips back. This is your sumo stance, all right? Squat hold. From here, you're going to push out your right elbow, uh, right knee with your right elbow, and then reach up and do the same thing with the right side as well. Just to make sure that you have good hip mobility going and thoracic spine. This is your mid back. All right, let's go in three, two, and one. Push it out. Left arm up. Left arm down. Right arm up. And keep moving. Okay? This is a very beginner-friendly mobility drill. Usually what we do on the scale, the variation is to get into a deep squat and do the squat reach with your arms open up. Okay? Like I said, this is a beginner-friendly scale down variation of it. We have made this a sumo squat arm reach. Alright? Three seconds, two, and one. Let's get onto the mat. Plank. High plank. Toe touch. Toe touch. And keep doing this for 30 seconds. Are we good? All right, let's do this in three, two, and one. Reach. So as you come to that plank, you make sure that your belly button is tucked in so that you're activating your core, which is very, very important because a good solid core will lead to better sessions, to better workouts, and you do not lose that energy, right? You do not have energy leaking anywhere else from your upper body to your lower body and vice versa, right? We're done with this. So that was the first round of the mobility drill. We'll hit one more round so that we are completely primed up for today's workout. Are we in, Sarita Akash? We are. Right. Okay, they are in. Let's go with the deltoid circles. Go for it now. One, two, three, four, and five. And turn the other way. One, two, three, four, and five. Back again. One, two, three, four, five. And keep going. Now, we've got about 10 seconds left on this first drill of the second round. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, two more stands. Push your hips back into that squat position. Let's go. One, and two, three, and four, and keep going now, all right? Good. 
good warm up will always lead to good sessions as well if you feel some days that you are not feeling like you know get in that 30 minute session just get to that warm up things might just change all right done plank to toe touch all right let's do this starting in three two and one okay go for it remember to engage your core throughout the movement as you lift your hips up as well and then as you bring your hips down into that plank position core engage core engage very important we're halfway there almost done almost done keep breathing and keep doing this five seconds three two and one okay done with the warm-up all right mobility done as well now speaking of traveling right whether wh wherever you go there's always always some way to make sure that you have your solid workout in place we're gonna talk more on this gonna give you some ideas how to get you know those workouts in and make sure that you stay fit while you're enjoying as well all right okay now it's main workout time we've got good solid movements for your lower body as well as full body the first one we're going to be doing is a lunge to a partial squat okay so we're going to do a reverse lunge lunge oops a little out of balance it's okay and then get into a shoulder width stance and do a partial squat which means do not hit that depth for a normal squat that we do just about halfway there and, and you come up we're going to do this for 40 seconds right and then we rest for 20 seconds Every movement that we do, every movement that we complete during the rest, I will explain the next workout. Just to give you a structure, we got four movements and we have to hit four rounds of this. All right, 40 on 20. Are we good? Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go team. Three, two, and one. A reverse lunge, and another reverse lunge, and a partial squat, and up. Okay? Why partial squat today is because I want you all to get into that basics right okay so when you squat you lead with your hips keeping the torso straight core engaged that's why all the plank toe touches right so that you know every time you squat you need to have that core braced all right once we hit that partial squat well enough in the future sessions we can definitely hit that depth and hit your hips parallel to the knee as well okay three seconds to go two one and done rest for 20 seconds and while you're doing that let me tell you what we have next for you we're gonna come to the end of the mat we're gonna do double hop all right one two and then back pedal all right that's the movement we do this for 40 seconds we're preparing ourselves in three two and one let's go double hop one two and back again one two all right, keep going, keep going. This is fun. Absolutely. <laughs> it is fun, it drives your heart rate up as well. And make sure that your landing is soft enough, okay? Not too much tension on your joints, especially your knees and your ankles. About eight seconds left. We can do two more reps. Watch your back. One more, one more, squeeze in, one more, and done. Okay, all right. So we did some lunging, we did some squatting, now we did that hopping and back pedal. We're gonna do something which will drive our heart rate even more, all right? So this is a cardio session, we want to target that cardiovascular endurance zone, okay? So we're gonna hit some sprawls. Come to the middle of the mat, go forward, palms down, extend your legs into a high plank, stand up, and that's what you do for one rep. We keep repeating that. All right, are we good? Let's yes, do this. Great. Go for it. 40 seconds. Come on. Now, let's go. Extend. Yeah. All right. One quick tip over here. When you extend into that high plank position, make sure that your core is tight and engaged. All right? Do not drop your hips. Do not let it loose. Okay? We're protecting your back, and we are building stronger midsection. Of course, driving that heart rate up, training that cardio uh, at that cardio zone. More, more attention to detail on that heart rate as the workout progresses. Remember, we have four rounds of this, so we have a lot of time to discuss more, to talk you, talk you through. All right, and we are done with this. 
All right. Now we have the final movement of the first round butterfly sit-ups for your core. All right. Let's get onto the floor for this. Keep your your soles, uh, you know, facing each other. Your knees wide. That's your butterfly sit-ups. All right. In the butterfly position, and you keep hitting those reps. 40 seconds. Let's do in three, two, and one. A little slow to begin with. Now, uh, a pro tip over here. Keep doing the rep, but listen to me as well. When you're lifting your body, use the power of your midsection. Okay, do not use your back. Use the power of your abdomen to lift your shoulders off. That means you gotta brace it once again, tighten it, and then you lift your shoulders off and go all the way, hit that range, and go back again. Okay, last five seconds, two more reps. Come on, one more, one more, one more, we can do this. And we rest for 20 seconds, that's the first round. We've done so well. Squat, you guys as well. All right, lunch to partial squat coming up in just about 10 seconds. Get ready, we're gonna crush this one. We are gonna really have fun. Build some strength and improve that cardio endurance. All right, let's go. Lunge. Reverse lunge to a partial squat. Okay, there you go. That's one rep. Okay. Go at your own pace, guys. You don't have to go really fast or go really slow, whatever is comfortable for you. But at the same time, as you get more confident with the movement, you can start adding pace. That will help you increase the intensity of the workout as well. Okay. If you wear um, you know, smart watches, which tracks your heart rate, just look at that heart health as well and see where it is. Is it in the cardio zone? Is it in the fat burning zone? You want to ideally target your cardio zone, all right? Aerobic zone. And we have done. Okay, double hop to back pedal coming up in about 15 seconds. All right. Let's have some fun. Yeah, let's have some fun. Just make sure that you watch your back. You know, don't hit the wall. Especially my buddy over here. <laughs> There's a wall close by. All right, let's go, let's go. Three, two, one, go for it. Hop and hop and back pedal. Okay? Now, this is very athletic in nature. The movement especially, okay, if you play a sport, this will help you get better with your movement. Come on. We're doing great, team. 20 seconds done. All right, come on. One, two, Back, 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 back. One, two, back, 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 back again. Last 10 seconds. Okay. Last one, last one. Come on, squeeze one more rep. And we are good. Excellent. All right, sprawls, sprawls coming up. You know what to do. But before that, just a quick breather. Okay. If you want to take a quick sip of water, now is the time. Just a wee bit. All right, don't gulp. 15 seconds done. Okay, three, two, one. Sprawls, sprawls, go for it. Count your reps, see how many you can get in this round. Remember to keep that core nicely braced as you extend your legs into that high flying position. Okay, we're tracking your heart rate as well. Ten more seconds. Last five. Three, two, and one. Okay, butterfly sit-ups coming up. Now, if you are not wearing a smartwatch and you know you're not sure what your heart zone is at this point in time, try talking while you're moving. All right. If you feel that you're still able to talk, that means you are at about 60, 70 percent of your maximum heart rate, which is what you should be targeting, 60-70%. All right, let's go with the butterfly sit-ups. More on that as the workout progresses. Okay, go at your own pace sometimes. You might feel that your butt is slipping off from your heels. It's okay, reorient yourself and just your butt. Bring it forward, closer to your heels and keep moving. All right, halfway there, halfway mark. 
across that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Use your abdomen to lift your body off the floor. Okay, engage that. Midsection, last five seconds to go. Three, two, and done. Okay. All right, two rounds done. We're resting up for about 15 more seconds. Quick sip of water. And some deep breathing, okay? Preparing yourself for the third round. Let's do this. We have a good, good finisher as well. It's going to skyrocket your heart rate. Okay, let's go with the lunge to partial squat. Come on. And that partial squat. Now, good. Lunge. Lunge. And the partial squat. Good stuff. Lunge. Lunge. And the partial squat. Nice. All right, keep moving. Keep moving. Fifteen more seconds. All right. Keep going. And done. Okay, twenty seconds break. All right. So, what's your, uh, you know, when you have to look at your max heart rate zone? The universal number you'll have to look at is 220 minus your age. So suppose you are 30, 40, let's say 40, right? 220 minus 40, that's 180. That's your max heart rate at which you can train. Beyond that, it becomes a little worrisome, all right? So make sure you're not going beyond that. Let's go to the next workout, the double hop to back pedal. Go for it. Okay, so more on that. Uh, be careful of the movement as you step back, okay? Right, and so max heart rate is 220 minus your age, and for your cardio zone, multiply that by 0.7, right, 70%, maybe 80%, not more than that, okay? And otherwise, you start panting, and you know, it just works a different energy system altogether. 10 more seconds. Last five. Good. Okay, done with this, done with this, all right? Oof, are we feeling? A little out of breath? <laughs> Getting there. <laughs> we are, we're still able to talk, right? So we're yes. still training at that cardio zone, which is good. Okay, five more seconds. Sarita, let's go with the sprawls now. Three, two, and one, go for it. Now remember, you need to count your reps and see if you're able to sustain the same number of reps. You can do one better or you're doing like a few reps lesser than what you did in the previous round. It's all okay. All you gotta think is the effort that you're putting in and look at the long-term goal, all right? And the long-term goal is to stay healthy as long as we live, all right? And this is one of those few things that you can do, your workout. Okay, last five seconds now. Come on, come on, come on. Hit, hit, a few more reps. One more at least, one more, and uh, good. Stand up, let's rest up, let's breathe in, breathe out. And so I was talking about, you know, your workout being just one of those very few things that you have to do to make yourself healthy, to keep yourself healthy. There's much more to it than meets the eye, right? You'll have your sleep, you'll have your nutrition, so many other things, good habits as well. All right, let's go with the third in fact, the fourth movement, go for it. And that's one, and that's two, come on. Keep going, keep going. All right, give me a five over here. All right, good. And a fist bump, my buddy. Good, all right, keep going, keep going. And we should be done in just about 10 seconds, just taking a sneak peek at the clock as well, all right, come on, come on, come on, last five, come on, come on, come on, four, one more rep, three, two, and one, done, okay, done with three rounds, we are in the last, last round now, ooh, time to push that heart rate a little bit, but if you feel that, you know, you're already getting into that fatigue zone, you can take it a little bit slow as well, so, I mean, we don't mean to always preach that, you know, highest or high intensity is always the best. Go with the feels that your body is giving you. All right, go for it. Lunge to partial squat. 
I'm going to try and say is, if you feel that there's too much fatigue, it's okay to take it easy. If you feel that, you know, you can push for this round and go at max pace, go for it as well. All right? You decide the intensity. What we do is we design the workout and make it fun, make it uh, intense enough, all right? At the same time, it should target the right muscles as well, okay? Improve overall health, strength, endurance, mobility, you know, all these physical skills we want to target. Okay, one more rep. <laughs> Done. Okay, all right, double hop, double hop, double hop. We're getting ready for that. I won't say you should go for a single hop, broad jump, but that's where you should be getting it. One day, all right, but today, let's stick with double hop. All right, three, two, and one. Come on, one, two, pedal. One, two, and pedal. Okay, keep moving, keep moving now. Every workout has some purpose, right? And this, this particular movement's purpose is to make you feel agile enough, okay? Move well, training your tendons. That's spring action, right? Landing softly, just awareness of body. And done with this one as well. <laughs> All right. Just All right. But we got the sprawls coming up. So this is the last round, right? So let's just get this done. Eight seconds to go. A few deep breaths, get ready. Three, two, and one. Sprouts come. Keep moving. Good stuff. All right. Good job. Good job, team. Good job. Come on. Fifteen. About 20 seconds done, so we're halfway there. Come on. Definitely rest a few seconds as well. Come on, halfway there. Now 20 seconds done. All right, almost there, almost there. Final movement, final round. And then we jump into that finisher real quick. 10 seconds left. Last five, four, three, two, Boom, we're done with this. Okay, get ready for the finisher. This is gonna spike your heart rate up. Okay, we're gonna be doing 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, but we do only two rounds, which means every round, you gotta give your best effort. The movement we're doing is a jump squat, okay? So, for that, don't go too deep onto that squat, just start with a partial squat, jump up, land soft, and keep moving. Remember to use your hips to initiate that squat position, okay? Not your knees, you should not be knees dominant at this point in time. Just make sure you land a little soft as well. 20 on 10 off, there's two rounds, but those 20 seconds that you work out for, let that be your best effort, okay? Let's go, in three, two, and one, go for it. Yeah, good stuff, come on, come on, yep. As many reps, 10 seconds done. You feel that fatigue now. You feel the heart rate is pounding. Okay, three, two, and one. Let's rest 10 seconds. All right, good. Just breathe in, breathe in. Get ready. Just one more round. Just one more round, okay? Let's get it. Let's do it. Okay, let's do this. Go for it now. On 
almost there. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, we are done with this solid finisher. Look at them. All right, nice one. Come closer. Okay, good stuff, team. All right, now, before we move into that stretches, just a wee bit of more information on working out on the go, right, when you travel. So um, the, the theme over here, what, I, what we want to talk about is if, if you go to a place where there's no particular gym, so let's say a mountain, what can you do in a mountain? You can trek, of course, right? Go for trek, go for runs, uh, easy runs, of course, because the, the terrain will do all the work for you. Feed the freshness of nature, right? The chirping of birds and all that. And if it is a you know, beach, take off your shoes. Absolutely, take off your shoes, feel the sand on your feet, feel the breeze, feel the you know the sound of the waves. Yeah, and the sun hitting your face. And just just feel good about yourself. And do that. So these are a few things that you can do, right? Of course. Uh, if you are indoors, always use your cult app and you know do one of these workouts. It works as well. All right. So having said that, let's get into your stretch mode. The first one we're going to be hitting is a pigeon stretch. 15 seconds each side. So first thing, let's get into your high plank. Take that right leg. Okay. And then drop your hips, square them up. Drop your palms, head down, and hold it there for 15 seconds. Are we good to do this? Yes. We are. All right. Let's do this in three, two, and one. Hold it there. Okay? 15 seconds. Focus on breathing. And what you should be really doing now is pushing your hips back, feeling, deepening the stretch on the right glute over here. And switch to the other leg. Three, two, and one. as well hold your toes and 30 seconds now if you want to deepen hold the midfoot and see if you can press your knees down and do this movement last 10 seconds Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, stand up. The standing quad stretch. If you know, there's a wall nearby, a couch nearby, you can use that as support. 15 seconds, one side. Let's go. Okay, just about five seconds more. Today's session, stretches are done as well. Beautiful, beautiful job. Fist bump to you all.